Attention. Have you ever spent hours putting together a super cute outfit and then decided not to wear it because you are afraid that it's going to be too much? Or have you ever worn something super cute and as soon as you step out of your room, your parents or your friends look at you weirdly? So you rush inside and change your outfit. Or that one time when you want to dress up and glam up but you have nowhere to go. No worries. I am here today to fix that for you. I'm your fashion lifeguard slash professor. If you are watching this video, you are already enrolled in my class. Tuition is free here, unlike America. So keep on watching, listening, and studying. Okay, so in today's video, I will teach you how to feel more confident, how to wear whatever you want, and I want to explain to you the power of fashion and how it can change your mood from zero to a hundred. But before we start the video, please click the subscribe button below. Yeah, it's totally free. Quiet. It took me many years to wrap my head around my style and figure out which direction I wanted to go, but now I can say that I am super confident to wear whatever the fuck I want. If the weather is hot, but I still want to wear a long sleeve, bitch I'm going to put on a long sleeve as long as I look good. If I wake up one day and feel like getting dressed up for a class, I am going to dress up and climb up as if I was going on a date. And if, I know, if I was gonna get fired at work, I will wear an outfit that I would wear to a wedding. Decked out in fucking designers so that I can look good on my last day. And I walked out of the company in style. Think about it. That would be the last memory that everyone will remember of me. So, let's jump into a little fun fact. Did you know that when you die, the outfit that you're wearing will be the outfit that sticks with you forever? So be careful with what you wear every day. Yes, I'm looking at you Uggs and leggings. I'm just kidding. It's not a fact. I just made that up so you guys can pay attention to what I just said. You have a problem? Fight me. I feel like confidence has to do a lot with people around us and the people you choose to be around with. If you are with a group of friends who would make fun of you in a non-constructive way or make little comments that make you feel uncomfortable because of what you wear in general, then these are the type of people that will destroy your confidence. I would recommend you to not take any of their advice and continue to be you and dress however you want. For an example, when I was in high school, my friends would constantly question why I would wear a certain thing. People laugh at me while I was in school for wearing bright blue trousers. You know what I also hate? I hate it when I wear something super cute and unique to school and my friends would be like, Oh my god, you look so extra today. I would get shut down constantly. So during my high school years, I tried to blend in as much as I could. My senior year was better actually. It was when I felt like I'm about to graduate and I won't see any of these bitches ever again. That's when I decided to be more me. But it was not enough. College was where I started wearing whatever the fuck I want without worrying about what other people think of me. Let me show you some photos so you can see the difference. This was me in high school, and this was me in college. Yeah. Do you guys see the difference? <sighs> oh my god, it's so fucking hot. So now, let me introduce you to how to wear whatever the fuck you want. 101.
OK class. Ow. OK class. Listen. Number one, surround yourself with good friends who love you for who you are. Friends who show love and support are the type of friends that will boost your confidence. Number two, understand your body shape and really study what looks good on you. For me, I'm staying away from tight fitted T-shirt. I have an example that I can show you. I have this Alexander McQueen T-shirt. Alexander McQueen. I meant to say Alexander Wang. I have a little quiz for you. I have this Alexander Wang T-shirt in my size. Tell me if it looks flatter on me, or this T-shirt from Acme Studios, a little bit more loose fitted. The sleeves are a little bit longer. Which one looks better? Yep, you got it right. The Acme Studios T-shirt looks better on me. Congrats, you win nothing. I stay away from tie-fitted clothing because I'm a bony ass person. But then again, this video is about wearing whatever you want, so you can skip the step if you don't really care about the appearance. Number three. Look extra, but low key extra. To do this, you should introduce a unique piece to your outfit slowly, maybe once a week, maybe once every two days. Instead of wearing a boring shirt and jeans, maybe one day you can throw on like a unique blazer or a jacket to take your outfit up another notch. By doing this. You are training the people around you to your new style slowly, without them noticing. I need everyone's attention here. So, now that you have thrifted or you have bought a lot of cool things. But you really don't know how to introduce your new wardrobe, your new style to everyone. You don't want to throw everything on at the same time and just walk out and be like, "Hey, this is the new me. I want to wear whatever the fuck I want." I mean, you can do that too. But if you are not comfortable with doing that yet, you can try this step. You can slowly introduce a piece by piece. Every time. For an example, if I thrifted this blazer and pretend that you have never seen me with a vintage blazer, instead of wearing this boring T-shirt and jeans outfit, maybe it's the opportunity for me to put on something new, something that no one never seen me in. Now, everyone is gonna be amazed with how you look. And that's why they say, "Cue them with kindness." That quote doesn't fit with what I just said. The most they will notice, and they will tell you that, "Ooh, I like your blazer," or, "Wow, you look so stylish today." I learned from my own experience. <laughs> Number four. Now that you slowly introduce your new style to the people around you, you can start wearing whatever the fuck you want. Look at this. Look at all this. It's too much. It's too extra. <laughs> this color is too bright. Why would you wear this? Why would you buy a matching set? Who cares? I bought the set because I wanted to. Is that okay with you? I can't think of an occasion that I can wear this outfit to. So you know what? I can throw this on and go to the grocery store. Why? Because I can wear whatever the fuck I want to. Well, I do have to agree that I look like Hillary back in. 2016, 
and you know what happened at the election. But you know what? At least she looked good. The power of fashion is underestimated. Let me tell you something. When I was in college, there were days I woke up in a bad mood because of personal issues. I would wear my favorite suit and go to school. There's something about looking good and confident in what I wear. It instantly boosts my mood and gets me excited to walk out of my house and do whatever I have to do for the day. If going grocery shopping is a drag for you, then dress up, climb up. Now you have an excuse to wear that one item that you bought a while ago that you have had no occasion to wear. And by the way, no one knows that you dress up just for grocery shopping or for no reason. People will assume that you have somewhere to go. Or for me, when I was wearing my suit to school, people thought that I had a presentation on that day. So, number five, sell your outfit and fake it till you make it. So now that you have decided to wear whatever you want, you will make a lot of bad decisions, and there will be horrible outfits that make you ask yourself, "Why the fuck did I choose to wear this?" Don't feel down. Just continue selling the outfit because at the end of the day, you don't learn until you make mistakes. And you know what? Next time, you know what not to wear. So I just wanted to wrap up this video by saying that when you are feeling sad or feeling down, try to wear something special, something extra. Who cares? Something unique. It will brighten up your day. I had an aunt where I love and adore so much. She passed away. For three years now, I always dress up to visit her where she rested. I always get super emotional thinking about her, but instead of looking emotional and a mess visiting her, I would dress up super cute to see her. It always puts me in a good mood, and I know it makes her feel special that I dress up just to see her. What do they say when they do that in class? Attention! Thank you for listening, class. I hope you took enough notes. Your homework assignment is to try dressing up and leaving the house looking snatched to go vote. Since the election is coming soon, vote with confidence and vote looking good. And remember, you don't need a special occasion to look good. You can look good if you want to. Thank you for paying attention. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Follow me on Instagram. I'll definitely follow you back. You can DM me if you have any questions in regards to your homework. With that being said, see you guys in my next video, or should I say, see you guys in my next class. Bye.